Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Option channel for the UPSC examination. In today's video, we are going to see plants as a sources of oils. This has been given in your paper number 1 and chapter number 4. In this video, first of all, we are going to see what is meant by oil. Then, oil obtained from the plants, that is the five plants, Richinus caminus, then Cocos nucifera, Helianthus annus, Glycine max, and the Arachis hypo. Five plants has been selected for the plants as a sources of oil. All right. So we will see these plants one by one. So first of all, what is oil? An oil is any non-polar chemical substance that is viscous liquid at ambient temperature and have both hydrophobic and the lipophilic nature. Now, oil is considered to be the non-polar, as you may familiar with polar and non-polar things right in a biology we come across these terminologies polar means which is soluble in water while non-polar means which is soluble in a solvents different organic solvents like benzene so the polar compounds tend to be the water loving while non-polar compounds are tend to be the water heating compounds right so the oil is a naturally a non-polar that means Oil belongs to non-polar category that it can mix with the organic solvents, but it cannot be mixed with the water. As commonly you know that oil cannot be mixed with water, right? These two things cannot mix with each other. That is why the nature is called the non-polar chemical substance. That is viscous liquid. It is a viscous liquid at ambient temperature and have both hydrophobic and the lipophilic nature. Now hydrophobic means hydro stands for the water. And phobic means which hate the water, right? That means oil are the water heating chemical substances, right? And at the same time, they are lipophilic. Lipo, this word stands for the lipids, and philic, this word commonly means loving. Now, they are the lipid lovings, that is, they can be easily mixed with the lipids, but they cannot mix with the water, that is, they are the hydrophobic and lipophilic in nature. So the oil is any non-polar chemical substance that is viscous liquid at ambient temperature and have both hydrophobic and the lipophilic nature. All right. So the first part we are going to see about the plant as a sources of oil is a richness caminus. Famously it is called the richness oil. Now there are lots of plants which produce the oil. Some, some of them produce edible oils while others do not. Now, richness caminus, that is the richness oil, is commonly used for the industrial purposes and not commonly used for the kitchen purposes. All right. So, this plant, richness caminus, belongs to the U4BSC family. And the seeds of this plant contains 35 to 55 percent of viscous, somewhat green in color oil. This oil is obtained by the mechanical extraction, then possesses about 85 percent of resiloinic acid, that is. The oil of this plant contains the 85% of acid this is a compound present in the oil. Now it is used for the fabrication of paints, then varnishes, cosmetics, and the lubricants, etc. So the first plant, namely richness covenant, belongs to the family U4BSC. The seeds contain 35 to 55% of the oil and it is extracted by the mechanical extraction. The oil contains the resilonoic acid. To the level of 85 percent and it is used for the fabrication of paints varnishes cosmetics and the lubricants all right now second plant we have on list is cocos nucifera this plant is commonly called as the coconut tree now in the photograph you can see here the coconut tree and we are talking about the coconut oil that is the oil coming from the cocos nucifera famously called as the coconut oil all right this plant that is the cocos nucifera or co coconut belongs to the family Ericaceae. Now coconut oil is an edible oil that has been consumed in a tropical country. Coconut oil is produced by crushing the copra, the dried carnel, which is contains about 65, 60 to 65% of the oil. That is the inner part of the fruit, which is called as the carnel, contains about 60 to 65% of oil. This oil has a very natural sweet taste and coconut oil nearly contains 92% of saturated fatty acids. All right. 
Now this coconut oil has a certain applications, namely it promotes the heart health, then healthy brain function and the immune system boosting. All right. So these are the applications of the coconut oil. So coconut oil is coming from the plant, namely coconut, that is the Cocos nucifera belonging to the family Ericaceae. This coconut oil is edible oil and which is consumed in a tropical countries. Then the oil is often from the carnal part of the fruit, which contains 60 to 65 percent of oil. Now this coconut oil contains 92 percent of the saturated fatty acid, which promotes the healthy heart rate then healthy brain function and boost the immune system all right so third plant we have on list is a helianthus annus now what is the sunflower and oil obtained from this helianthus annus is called sunflower oil now this helianthus annus plant that is the sunflower belongs to the family of asteraceae sunflower seed oil composition consists of 90 percent of oleic and 10 percent of linoleic acid that is 90 percent of the oil contains the Oleic acid, well, 10% is a linoleic acid. Together, they constitute the sunflower oil. Its oil is used throughout the world for the frying and cooking. All right. Sunflower seeds are very rich in protein and essential fatty acids. So, the third plant we have on list is a heliantosinus, commonly called as the sunflower. Now, sunflower oil, this sunflower plant belongs to the family Asteraceae and uh, the Sunflower seeds contain the 90% of oleic acid and 10% of linoleic acid. All right, this is used for the this oil is used for the frying and the cooking purposes. And the seed contains the high, and the seeds are very rich in protein and essential fatty acid. So this is the third plant which consumed throughout the world for the cooking. All right, the next plant we have here is a glycinax. Famously, this plant is called the soybean, and the oil obtained from this plant is called the soybean oil. So this glycine max plant belongs to the family Fabaceae. The soybean is a species of legume widely grown for its edible bean. Now this bean contains the significant amount of phytic acid, dietary minerals and the vitamin D. All right. This soya vegetable oil is used for the preparation of food and many and it has many industrial applications as well. Soybeans are globally important crop on providing oil and protein now this is this plant is globally important for providing the oil and the protein all right so on the fourth we have list is a glycine max which is a soybean the next plant that is the fifth plant is arachis hypogee now this plant we commonly called it as a peanut and the oil obtained from this plant is called the peanut oil this plant belongs to the family Fabaceae. it is also known as the groundnut and this peanut oil contains the 46% of monosaturated fats, 32% of polysaturated fats, and the 17% of saturated fats. Now, peanut oil is often used for the cooking because of its mild flavor. All right. So, fifth plant we have on this list is Arachis hypogee, belong to the family Fabaceae, commonly called as groundnut, and has a chemical composition of 46% of monosaturated fats, 32% of polysaturated fats. And 17% of saturated fats. All right. This peanut oil is often used in the cooking because it has a very mild flavor. All right. So in a summary, we have seen the definition of oil. Then we have seen the first plant, namely richness communis, which produces the richness oil. Then we have seen the second plant, Cocos nucifera. Third plant that is the Helianthus annus. Fourth plant that is the Glycin max. And the fifth plant that is the Arachis hypogee. All these five plants are used for the commercial production of oil. That is, these plants act as a sources of oil. All right. There are many other plants as well which are used for the production of oil, but these are not covered in this lecture. You should find out them, but you should at least know the five plants. All right. So I have taken the examples from the different families, and you should always remember the name of a name of plant, name of family, and the most importantly, the chemical composition of that oil, all right, and how it is used for the human point of view, all right. So, thank you very much for watching this lecture. Please like the video, comment if you have any question, share this video with your friends who are studying the botany subject, all right, and please subscribe to the Botany Option channel for the UPSC examination.